One of my favorite tools from OpenAI is Deep Research. I use it all the time. And I find it to be very, very good. But now as we approach almost the second part of 2025, there are a lot of Deep Research tools out there. So in this video, we're just going to quickly pit OpenAI's Deep Research versus Grok's Deep Research versus Perplexity's Deep Research versus Gemini's Deep Research. And not all Deep Researches are created equal. I don't pay for Grok and I don't pay for Gemini right now. So we're just going to see how it goes. And one of the things I love about deep research is sometimes I have it do things that aren't only deep research related. I just give it a task and it can look at it with its extended thinking. In this case, what we're going to try and do is have it do research for an upcoming video where I'm just going to lay out the differences between all the different frontier state-of-the-art large language models. I want to get the latest data. So let's just do this. I want to do an updated research on the frontier LLM commercial models, pricing and features, for example, I want to understand the main model providers and companies such as OpenAI, Anthropic, Perplexity, and Google. This includes ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, Gemini, and Grok. I also want to explore the feature sets and differentiators of each one. For example, OpenAI has deep research, multiple models, thinking and non-thinking capabilities, image generation, advanced voice mode, and other features. It also has multiple pricing models from free to pro to plus to enterprise. I want to know the prices for each. Then we have Anthropic that has Claude, which has three different models, has extended thinking, MCP support, or its new integrations feature. It has different payment plans. I might be missing features. I want you to search this out and figure out all the differences. We have Perplexity, which has its own Perplexity models, which also use other models as a backbone. We have Gemini, which has its own models and its own features. So I want you to go over all the different tools, models, and prices updated to today in May, 2025. And I want you to take sources. I want it laid out in detail. And what I'll eventually do with this is create a YouTube video, but I want to be able to verify everything. Okay, so now let's just let ChatGPT on the web transcribe this. Okay, great. So what I love about OpenAI's deep research is that it asks me clarifying questions. Okay, so I'm just going to answer these real quickly. Okay, I just answer the clarifying questions and let's see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to take my original prompt and my clarifying questions and paste those into the other tools. So let's go. Okay, just put it into Grok, just did Perplexity. And now let's just add it into Gemini with Deep Research 2.5 Pro. Similar to OpenAI, I like that Gemini gives me a plan. I'm just gonna say go with it. All right, so I'm gonna come back to you guys when all the different models give me their answers. We're gonna go through them all and figure out which one is the best. And it's gonna be very simple. The minute we see anything that looks to be inaccurate on any of these models, or any of these responses, we're going to pretty much disqualify it because it's going to be very verifiable information. Current pricing, current models, current context window. All this information is out there, so let's see what happens. And while you shouldn't judge a model on a single output, we are testing four models and we're pitting the responses against each other. So we're comparing them on these responses now. In the future videos, we'll test each model on different questions as well. Okay, so perplexity came back first while everything else is still working. So let's look at OpenAI, provides access to GPT-40 Mini. Okay, so it's breaking it down first into plans, free plan, plus plan, pro plan. This all looks accurate. Interestingly enough, it refers a lot to the O1 Pro mode. It does mention O3 Mini and O3 Mini High, but it refers to O1 as if that is its flagship reasoning model, which is outdated. O3 has been around for a while. It's actually my favorite model right now. And it also doesn't mention O4 Mini, which is in preview of its next reasoning model. It does mention 4.5. I don't see a mention of 4.1 here. It mentions ChatGPT 4 has a context window of 4,096 tokens. Okay, so this is already a fail. Let's keep looking. Okay, Grok actually came back the fastest. I didn't even realize this. One minute and 19 seconds. Okay, so let's look at its markdown. It's like Canvas, pretty much. It's not mentioning the OpenAI models. API access isn't related to what we're doing here. Just see if it gives us a table at the bottom. Okay, Grok was not too impressive to me. It came back really quickly. I wouldn't call it a deep research. I don't like that Grok didn't really give me any hard data. It didn't tell me about the different models. It didn't really relate to context windows. Just a quick, cheap answer. Falls apart in a second. What you could expect from that guy. Let's see what else we got. Okay, Gemini is still going. Chat UBT came back. In 12 minutes, 29 sources, 100 searches. Let's see how OpenAI's deep research holds up. This is my favorite one until now. We compare five prominent consumer facing large language models and platforms as May 5th, 2025. Wow. Whoa. This is not good. The free plan costs $0. Thank you. 
ChatGPT Plus is $20 per month. Aimed at individuals needing more advanced features like GPT-4. GPT-4 was sunset, I think, last week. I'm pretty sure GPT-4.0 was announced pretty much a year ago. It's not looking good. This is usually not my experience with OpenAI's deep research. This free version runs on GPT-3.5. And as, and as of 2025, a variant sometimes called GPT-4.0 Mini. Yeah, this is a fail. This is not updated. It did not do a good job searching. It did not do deep research. It is referring to old models, old context windows. It looked at old information. Deep research is supposed to be able to search several sources. I think it said it looked at 100 sources. And then it's supposed to reason and give you quality data. And it doesn't even know about itself. This is a hard fail for OpenAI. And it's a shocker to me. Let's just move on to Gemini. And hopefully at least one model will give us a quality response. Google just upgraded Gemini 2.5 Pro. I'm not sure if the upgraded model is inside of deep research. Let's see. So far, so good. Let's look at OpenAI. That's ChatGPT and Sora. That looks good to me. Let's look at models. ChatGPT 4.0, 4.0 Mini, 4.5, and the O series. It mentions O1, O1 Pro Mode, O3 Mini, O3 Mini High, and O4 Mini. So it has all of the models here. It doesn't mention the full O3 model, but it does mention O4 Mini. So it seems to me that it is updated. This is the best response we got so far. But the pricing looks good. Finally, a table, and this is looking pretty cool. Okay, let's look at a different model. Let's look at Anthropic. Okay, for the models, it knows about the Cloud 3 family, 3.5 Sonnet, 3.7, the extended thinking, 200K context window, MCP support. Okay, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Plexity, everything here looks good. Okay, so this was actually surprising. I expected OpenAI's deep research to win because I use it all the time. And I'm always very confident and satisfied with the answers that come out of OpenAI's deep research. And here's the thing. Deep research always gives you a very long response. So you actually have to dig through and verify. But for the most part, I think it's great. But we saw here it was inaccurate. It didn't really do a good job searching the internet and thinking and reasoning, giving us a good response. So let's just recap. The worst of them all was Grok. Cheap, quick, no meat. It didn't really do a good job searching. I feel like it gave zero value. Then came OpenAI's deep research. I'm really shocked about that. Then came Perplexity, which was also very quick, but it, it made a bunch of mistakes as well. And in first place came Gemini's deep research. It pretty much knocked it out of the park. It took the longest amount of time. It followed the instructions. It got up-to-date information. So Gemini Z Research won this round. So let me know what you think. Was this a fair question? I'm going to try this again with another question because you can't judge a model on a single prompt, on a single response. So we're going to test it all soon. I hope you found this video insightful or you learned something new. Let me know which deep research you use or prefer. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you for watching and have a great day.